I was robbed again. You can't have nice shit in LA. I left my electric bike out for two hours locked up. When I came back, my lock was cut, my bike was stolen. So recently I bought an electric scooter small enough so you don't have to lock it up and risk it getting stolen, but you can carry it around. Here's my honest review for the Dynamic Scooter. My first priority is portability. No way am I gonna lock it up outside. I'm gonna carry it around. It folds up small enough to fit in one of their custom backpacks they sell on their website, so that's cool. It's small enough to fit in a gym locker, but last year some fucker cut my lock and stole my backpack in the gym locker, so there's no way I'm gonna do that again. It does fit in a shopping cart. It's advertised as 22 pounds, but it's not. I know what 25 pound weights feel like and it's a little heavier than that. About 26 to 27 pounds. Light enough to walk around on your back for a short distance, but it does get heavy if you carry it for too long. It does go 15 miles per hour, 16 on a full charge flat surface about 8 to 10 miles per hour on an inclined street fast enough to outrun a crackhead but not fast enough to outrun a robber in LA we have a lot of crackheads robbers homeless people and murderers I used to walk home at night after work but earlier this year my co-worker's friend was shot and killed by robbers nearby where I work so walking is not an option anymore the biggest disappointment is the battery life the website said it goes max 12 miles distance. Maybe for someone who weighs 100 pounds and only rides on flat surface, but I weigh 177 pounds and LA has a lot of inclines. I can only get 6 to 7 miles. Another thing that sucks is the magnet brakes. At full speed, the brakes only slow it down. If you're going full speed on a decline, the brakes do nothing. You'll either need to use your feet to stop or use the emergency brakes which is stepping on the plastic hood to physically stop the back wheel. I heard though you shouldn't use it too often, it wears down the wheel. The wheels aren't air tires which can be great for LA. When I had my e-bike I had a flat every two weeks because there's so much broken car glass and bottles, needles, nails and other sharp objects all over the street. If you're gonna get this scooter or any scooter and live in LA, be careful. Sidewalk sometimes isn't an option because there are tents taking over the city. The bike lane is another word for free parking for cars and there are so many reckless drivers. I saw so many car accidents not only hitting each other but also bikers. I found a strap to carry this scooter on Amazon and this is more comfortable than putting it inside a backpack.